get a Mac, 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 Shut the fuck up. Yes, sir. Oh, whoa, whoa, green light, green light. What's going on, everybody? So today, uh, we are going to be meeting up with RJ and the BDC crew. Um, I am currently driving over there right now. It is after work. So I give or take around like three something. Um, yeah, so we're going to go ahead, head over there. We have a lot of stuff that we, that needs to be done in the car. Um, we're trying to get it ready for hot pit. Not a hundred percent sure what round of hot pit we're going to get it ready for, but nonetheless, it's going to be at one of the shows. Um, so we have all that going on. So you guys in a bit, will be seeing my boy, Corey. You're going to be seeing my boy, Eduardo. Uh, yeah. One of the many projects that we have on the channel, um, being his E36, like you guys seen in the last video. Uh, my E36, uh, his E92, we got Corey's 350, Eduardo hopefully will be getting an S chassis, and um, you know, so forth. So, uh, one thing I do want to do beforehand, before I even go any further in this video, last video, I put a uh, rest in peace to Ken Block. Unfortunately, um, I'm trying to, I'm using CapCut, and it's not, I'm still not too familiar with how to, uh, get everything to work properly i've had upload issues as you guys have seen in the previous videos so all the texts obviously were enlarged so long story short if we could take a quick 10 second of silence before we take that silence i just would like to say ken block thank you for a lot of the stuff that you have done for this community man uh without even realizing that you were a such a big inspiration man i used to watch you all the time uh growing up on x games when they were having the whole rallies and everything going on during that time. I was looking into rally driving myself before I even got into uh, Hondas and everything. And you were the guy. And I had no idea even who you were, bro. And to know that I got this far in the community and this far into the scene. And you were one of the main reasons behind it. I just want to thank you, man. Thank you for everything you've done. So, you guys, let's take a quick 10 seconds of silence for my boy here. All right, Ken Block, we know that no matter what happens, man, you're in our heart. We love you, my boy, and uh, rest in peace to you. And we're going to do our best to pretty much, you know, keep the legacy going, bro. So, again, thank you for everything you've done for us, and let's just have a blessed moment from there, son, out. Fuck you, YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys, so we're at RJ's right now, E92, Mr. Corey, which has been like, Where's this guy? I can't. This guy's been like the scientist behind everything right now. And then this dude's eating my chips. <laughs> All right. So pretty much uh, we're going to give you a quick rundown of what we have had done since the last time I uploaded something. Um, has actually been a shit ton of progress. So, Corey, I'm going to have you kind of give us a rundown since you've been pretty much the one that's been behind everything. So do your thing, buddy boy. Yeah. All right. So here we I'll have take that. Oh, there we go. Um, All right. So... How do you flip the camera around on this thing? Oh, yeah, I see it. Here she is. Supercharged LS6. We've been setting up all of the oil and lines and making it to the oil filter housing. This is going to be the Dash 20 here for feed and return on the coolant. So dash 20, dash 20. Then you have the AccuSump line. It'll come in through the firewall there. Dash 20s are gonna end up right there in the firewall. We're gonna cut a plate out. And then you've got your feed line that goes to the pan. So been making AN lines, setting up, getting ready to build the fuel lines. Just waiting for the PTFE hose to arrive. Building the clutch reservoir currently. We have put all of the brakes and the lines together with the brake bias adjuster or the rear brake bias adjuster. 
Obviously, motor's back in the car. But all the brake lines are ran. New bulkheads made. New bulkheads with new lines. And then hydro. It is in. And then I'll go around to the other side of the car real quick. Matching bulkheads on each side. One for the hydro. Now you can see it. NRG carbon prototype seat. <clears throat> Starting to run the AccuSump line through the car. Run through the floor. Notching the chassis out here. Up into this bulkhead fitting. So, as you can see, it's going to go right there. And then, currently, kind of dark, but we're making a breather for the winner's quick change. And then once we're done making the breather and cutting the plate out, we are going to reinstall the plate. And then the line's going to sit up here. And then we can reinstall the radiator in the back of the car and these monstrous fans lots of talking but it's good because I've been building a lot of this and yes, uh, I can give you guys all the details here you go Johnny all right my boys so um as much as I'm trying to be here uh, the days I am here I will give you guys as much of an update as I possibly can again uh, Corey has been the one to build it mainly just because he is closer to RJ than I am and my work schedule just it's kind of hard to fluctuate with some <clears throat> oh, yeah, it's kind of hard to fluctuate with it sometimes so it's kind of the update what we have right now uh, like he said we're gonna continue doing what we're doing as long as I'm here you guys are gonna get updates so we're gonna keep going forward uh, what leaves we're gonna buy some bits and then once we're done we'll be uh we'll be right back all right so we went to O'Reilly's we just picked up the step bit one of us is going to be working on making that hole bigger. Pretty much we're making the rear plate for the diff, as Corey explained earlier. I'm going to hop on putting the starter together. My boy's going to be... What the hell are you going to do? I'm going to be cutting the floorboard. Oh, there you go. To make room for the dash 20s. Alright. You see that camera over here? Pointing at me. So today, we're going to be converting this drift car to stock. Everything. We we'll take everything off and we're putting stock panels, stock motor, stock diff, stock body panels. It's gonna be so all of this is for sale. Yeah. We're, we're like 30 drifting. minutes. Give us like 30 minutes. Fuck drifting. Give us 30 minutes and we'll be chilling. It'll be a stock car. 30 minutes. All back to the factory. You're doing. <laughs> all right. So yeah, I'm gonna hop on doing the starter right now. My boy's gonna be doing his floor panel cutting. Got to feed these lines through we back and yeah this is pretty much where we're at right now so i'll give you guys more of an update as soon as we have more progression on the car and the more we keep going oh we out here all right so we need to tighten these lines and it needs to be a two-person job sorry you guys i'm like really trying to figure out where the hell these lines are Bro, what? what? Oh, can we talk a shit? Anyways, so we're gonna go ahead and tighten these lines. So I'm gonna go ahead and come out here. I genuinely thought these were not. Oh, my bad. I thought they weren't fitted yet, but I'm gonna need to get some wrenches. All right, some wrenches out here real quick. Where are the rest of the wrenches at? Oh well, it's not gonna matter actually because. There's lines connected to them, so generally speaking. Yeah, just see if like something works right there. It might be like a. I think it it's might a be like 10. a 16. No. Yeah. Are we yeah. talking about the same line? Yeah. No, bro. Those lines right there. Yeah. Those are the bulkhead fitting. I'm looking at it. Yeah, that's, there's no way they're 16s. The nut down there? The nut. You need to tighten the nut, not the top side. I'm not talking about the. You can look my nuts. No. No You can't make me. No. I'm going to bet, my boy. And I have video proof here. Oh, I almost took my head out. 
Alright, come with me and we'll see. Ow, yeah, see? Pass me a 14. Lick my nuts. I apologize, you guys. You're gonna hear a lot of this with this boy here. My boy don't know how to turn out a game, so. There's a 916. Um, let me see it. All right, that works. If you want to get something from up there and start tightening it, I'm good here. I'm just going to hold it in place. Oh, hold it in place then. Remember, it's aluminum, so don't crank ass on it. I'm going to crank ass on it. I'm going to crank ass on your face. That's gross. I'm going to get a Go pink ahead. eye. I'm going to sue you. Oh, no, I need something else. This is going to strip it. it, it? Yeah, it already tightened it as much as it can. It's spinning it. All right, so let me let you guys understand what I'm doing. I'm probably going to speed some of this up. Two wrenches stuck in there? No, I didn't. I was going to say, dude. My boy's out there struggling. Y'all don't understand. This struggle's real out here right now. All right, so let me get out of here. What are y'all doing over there? Don't worry about it. What's up? I just want to be fucked with this. Come over here. What's going on? I have this um thing stuck. You got the wrench or the the screwdriver stuck in the uh why don't you just pry it out? What do you think I was trying to do? No, not like that, the other way. Lick my nuts. <laughs> the other way. <laughs> Bro, you're you're at perfect height. <laughs> hey uh if you want oh wow, you got you got that Gok Gok 5000. <laughs> um, oh my gosh, that affects you too. If you want to go ahead and do something else for the time being, find the fuel rail. It looks like the silver one. Okay. Find the fuel rail. Take the grease. Put a light coat around the seals of the injectors. Okay. This one and this one. Um, and then go ahead and put the fuel rail onto the actual supercharger. Y'all hear this boy demanding me like this. I don't even get paid and he's out here ordering me around. Bitch, I said please. <laughs> Alright you guys, so we're cool. gonna get cracking back on what we're doing. And this dude's over here gonna continue talking to shit. Talking to shit. Just do what you're doing, bro. And I'm gonna continue fucking shit up. Get back to work. <laughs> Alright. So pretty much just to kinda give you guys a quick rundown of what we're gonna be doing here. Um, injectors, grease, obviously not that much, I know I have a lot. And then, right into <clears throat> your rail, yeah. just like that. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and do the rest, and then when we're done here, I'm going to shoot over to my boy Corey. <laughs> Because you're being a win, bro. Just oh, actually, instead of opening this pack, uh, instead of opening this pack, who gives a fuck? Why does it say fucking there's one in the trailer? Well, get Why does it have a floating around? They're just battle rangers, they're not, they're not special tools. You tried already with the fly head and the hammer? Yeah, look at, look at this. Oh. Look at this point. If you want to put the camera right there, okay, watch out. That's my the whole point over. <laughs> this is too big of one. This is going to turn this one. Ugh! God. My boy just busted a nut on camera. For real. Ugh! <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna need to hold the top. Here, go for it. 
You broke it loose already. No, like the whole thing spinning. Loose. I know, but he he did it earlier and he broke it loose. Try you were hitting it, it and it wasn't moving the coal over. <clears throat> Try doing it again. Yeah, you broke it loose. Yeah, you broke it loose. Aren't working that Eventually, it'll come free. <laughs> no, bro, I have it on camera. You broke it loose, my boy. You should be chilling now. I don't think I need to hold it here. Yeah. All right, <clears throat> let's go do what we were doing, Corey. He's good here. Yeah. So keep doing that, and then when you're done doing that. You know what? Spray some use shit in use here. a spanner wrench and just hold your hand. Now that you have it loose, I mean, it we already. Work. The spanner wrench? I held it with my hand and Bro, tried to spin I watched spanner. you just... I, let me see. I me the spanner. spun the whole coil over, dog. Look. Hold this. Watch. Go. It's spinning the whole coil over. Oh. That's why he needs the camera. Right, That's what I was saying. Can I just remove the whole white stuff? <laughs> Be my guest, bro. I'm gonna flush. Do what you gotta do. Alright, so, Corey pretty much got this cut out, as you guys seen. I got my boy over here joining us because he got frustrated that he couldn't get the coil over out. So we're going to go help him in a bit. But nonetheless, we got this cut out. Uh, we're going to go ahead and make sure that all three lines fit, which we pretty much already took our measurements and they should all three run. Uh, you're looking at both the lines for the radiator and also the line for the supercharger, right? For the cooling? No. What's the third line for? Third line is for AccuSump. Oh. There you go. So... Uh, we're gonna go ahead and fit everything right now. I'm gonna go ahead and help my boy on the other side with this coal over situation And then we're actually gonna clean up the floor real quick. Yeah, so I don't Get any cuts in anything always 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 clean your shit. There you go. Safety clean your fucking clean booty cheeks. Booty cheeks squeaky clean <laughs> Let's go see what we got over here my boy A bunch of bullshit I hate this cuz where, how far did you go? <laughs> All yeah, we needed to do was wiggle the freaking steering wheel and it came out. Look at that. Dumbest things was, we could have done. I was hating white strap right a second, but like, it wasn't, it wasn't white strap. Yeah, you're gonna hate lights even more. This has to come out too. I know it is. And this top. Yeah, I heard if you just, you know, like, just crank it at the top and just like spray shit out. That top cap is white strap. Huh? That top cap is white strap. Okay. Alright, so we done here. So let's go knock out more of this list. All right, so we made a hole for the diff for the breather. As you guys seen, my boy got some of the cut ready for the lines, color lines, and also oh shit, uh, what was the other line? Well, also, uh, well, what other lines are we adding? It gets two dash twenty, um, two dash twenty ans for the radiator. 1-10 for the AccuSum and 2-12s for the heat exchanger for the supercharger. Okay, so that's what we're adding. So we're adding the 2-12. So we ended up having to make, uh, we ended up cutting about this much. And since we're gonna end up adding the 2-12s, now we're gonna end up, um, obviously we ended up cutting it a little bit wider. Getting everything set up here, fuel rails in. On board Eduardo, going ham on the suspension here. So, uh, starter, we need the bolts. Obviously, that's been done. We tied the bulkheads, as you guys looked at earlier. So, we cut the floor, fuel rail. Oh, these. I got, I'm going to end up rewriting this. We still need this supercharger bolt. So, we're pretty much almost to where we have some of the list done. Excuse me, I had a burp. So yeah, so we're almost to the point where we have some of the list done. For those wondering what the bulkheads are, these guys for the brake lines. So that's pretty much. Oh, got my hand in the way. Yeah, so we're pretty much good right there. Pretty much done for the night. We're already packing up, getting ready to clean, going home. Well, obviously I am. I'm tired. I gotta go to work tomorrow. All right. So with that being said, you guys have a blessed night. You guys be safe out there doing your thing. Uh, hopefully I'll be able to come back during the week so we can keep doing this. If not, uh, for sure next week I'm planning to have a little bit more content. I might drop a little bit more than normal just because um, I'm going to have some more free time next week. So with that being said, again, you guys be safe. You guys have fun out there. Uh, hopefully next time we come back we'll be able to have this shit. So I'm going to finish off.